Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video about being hungry. I worked really hard on it and it was really fun to make. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. Subscribe to my channel, share it, comment, all that. I'm trying to get my, my subscribers up. Um, but yeah, do all that. Coco, you go, Glen Coco. It's been exactly one month. Um, it's October 1st. And, oh, speaking of October, it's my birth month. Um, my birthday is October 27th, if anybody cares. I think I'm gonna do like, first, okay. First, I'm gonna tell you about the city that I live in. So the city, the city I live in is your, your, I still can't pronounce it right, and we say it every day in practice. Um, that's where I live. It's the sixth largest city in Hungary. Um, it has over 100,000 people here. Um, it's awesome, I love it. It's a really cute city. I decided to bring two fun facts about uh, Hungary, or my city, in case y'all wanted to get uh, educated today. The first one is, um, one of the largest Audi factories in Hungary is in this city right here. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Um, it employs 11,000 people. Wow, love you. Second fun fact, which is my favorite fun fact, is that um, the wine spritzer was invented here and there's a Hungarian name for it and I'm about to look it up. It's how to pronounce it. Their language is so hard, guys. Like you have no idea how hard it is. All right, so it's a wine spritzer. So a wine spritzer is wine and um, soda water. And um, I knew what a wine spritzer was because my mom used to make them for me, but she uses um, wine and Sprite, Chardonnay to be exact and Sprite and it's so good. It's definitely a spring, summer drink, drink by the pool. You're welcome. Fruch. Fruch. That's the name in Hungarian, Fruch. Anyway, that was invented here. Wow, I was just destined to be here. You know, y'all know I love wine. Y'all know I love the wine. All right, so those are my two fun facts about uh, Gitter. You know what, I'm gonna look that up too because I know that I am just destroying that word. Yeah. I have a third fun fact, that the Hungarian alphabet has 48 letters, 48. Y'all know how many letters we have? 26. I lied, 44. The Hungarian language has 44 letters. We have 26. So when people ask me, oh, why have you heard, learned Hungarian yet? That's why because there are almost 20 extra letters, 18 to be exact. Sorry, math. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So first, okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my experience a little bit, things I've liked, things I haven't liked. Um, so I asked a lot of people that I know that have played overseas before, and I got a lot of mixed mixed reviews about the overseas life. So I'm gonna tell y'all like a couple of things that people have told me versus what I've experienced so far. Um, and honestly, like I heard way more negative things about being overseas than positive and I have no idea why. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm blessed and lucky in the situation I'm in because like I love it here and I love my team, blah, blah. So first, I was told that I'm going to be bored out of my mind. Okay, so yes, I'm bored here, but like I was bored all summer in Connecticut and you know, I was bored sometimes in Durham. Like I think you can be bored anywhere. Um, I think the only difference is that like I just don't have my, my people here. Like I still watch Netflix all the time. I did that at home. Um, I go to the gym all the time. I did that at home. Like. 
The only thing that sucks is that like I don't have my people like literally just right here with me. We can just go do the right things like randomly like we did at school and stuff like that because I missed that. The second thing was that people were like, oh yeah, make sure you like go travel and you know, the, the flights are very cheap like in Europe from country to country. So I was really excited about coming here. You know, I was going to visit Kendall in France. You know, I had people in Greece. I was going everywhere. <laughs> We practice every day. Like, sometimes I forget that this is a job and like you just can't up and leave a job and go vacation. I don't really have time, which is annoying because now I have money to go travel. Now I don't have time to travel. Um, so hopefully at some point I'll be able to go explore some other countries, some other cities, but I haven't really had time to do that yet. Third thing is uh, get used to playing basketball differently. So people told me that, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Basketball is basketball. No, these girls over here are so physical and aggressive. I was just like. Hey, ma'am, can you calm down please? Like, a girl. I'm about to, I'll show you in the video. There's a girl who like punched me in my face in the game. <laughs> and she punched me in my back. Like what is going on? You know, I'm not a, y'all already know, like I'm not a super aggressive person on the court or off the court. So this is just like a lot for me, but um, give me a couple months and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be running girls over. Actually, yesterday in the game, I kind of ran a girl over. I mean, kind of hurt, but yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, okay, and the last one is people are like, wow, the food and over there, like it sucks. You're gonna like be eating McDonald's all the time. Blah, blah, blah. I've like been forced to eat Hungarian food and other food too. And they have regular food, like they have burgers, they have pizza, pasta, like it's not a problem. But you know, I've been like, eating different things, you know, I can't eat Chick-fil-A every day like I did all summer. And it's been good for me. I think I'm eating healthier, making better choices, embracing the Hungarian food, which is bomb. I love it. And I don't even think I've tried everything. So yeah, food I was very concerned about, but it actually has been like one of the best parts about being here. Now we are gonna talk about my likes and my dislikes because I have a list. I wrote it down. We're gonna do dislikes first because I wanna end the video on a positive note. Well, I mean, the dislikes aren't even, you'll see. They're not that bad. All right, first, they don't have dryers in the, in the houses. So everything's air dried. So when I first got here, I was like, what do you mean there's no dryers? Like what? But I didn't realize how fast clothes dry. Like you just hang them up overnight, boom, done. Um, so that sucked at first, but now it's cool, but I kind of miss, you know, having a dryer. Second, obviously there's no Chick-fil-A here. I'm dying. Amongst other things that I like, like pancakes and waffle, like they don't really do breakfast like we do. So that I was not expecting. I can't find pancake mix at any store. So I'm bringing it back when I go home for break, I'm bringing back pancake mix because I miss IHOP and Waffle House. I love breakfast, it's my favorite meal of the day. I want my pancakes, I want my French toast, I want it all. And I'ma get it when I go back to the United States. Um, the language barrier has been a little difficult, but a lot of people here speak English, which is awesome. All my teammates speak English, my coaches speak English, so you know that's been great. Um, but there have been some times where we've ran into people that speak zero English. So we're kind of just like staring at each other like, so like, are we gonna figure this out or what? Um, but we've been navigating. I mean, like I said, I cannot learn that language. It's hard. I'm trying, I got an app for it, like a language app, but it's still like really difficult. Um, I picked up on a couple words, but very simple, like hi, bye, they, like all that kind of stuff. Uh, the worst thing, obviously, is being far from home um, and the time change. Um, so literally when I wake up, I have nobody to talk to because when I wake up for practice, it's like eight or nine. So that means it's like four, three, four in the morning back home where most of my friends are. So like I pretty much go like the whole morning to like mid 
afternoon, like not talking to anybody. So that is kind of lonely and it kind of sucks. I guess this is okay because this means my friends love me, but they have no regard about the time change. So like I'll go to sleep for a little bit and you know, wake up at like two or three in the morning, like go to the bathroom or get a drink of water. And my phone is just like notifications. You know, I have to, I have to open them. I can't like look at a phone and be like, oh my God, I have friends. And be like, oh, not today. After not talking to anybody for the whole day. So my sleep schedule is, it's ridiculous. It's crazy and I don't think it's gonna change. And it, like I have to talk to my friends because I'm gonna go crazy if I don't. So shout out to y'all for messing up my sleep schedule. Um, I lied. Being far from home is the second worst thing. The first worst thing is being stared at because you would think that these people have never seen a black person in their life. Like, it is the most bizarre thing ever. Like, I don't understand. Like, we'll be walking down the street and they'll just be like. Like, have y'all never seen like black people before? Like, I know y'all got TV. Like, in the internet. Come on, dude, like, I hate it. I think I've seen like four black people since I've been here. Not counting with Shauna and Ross. So, oh, speaking of that. So today I was at the gym and I was like in mid workout and I looked over and there was a, there was a black girl in the gym. And like, she looked at me, I looked at her and like we had a moment from like across the gym because we were like, people like you ever anywhere like it was awesome like my heart was so happy and I wanted to go talk to her but she like walked away but she was in shock it was like shock and then happiness and then like oh should I go talk to her like so hopefully I see her again because that was a great moment and it made me happy because like I said there are no black people here none also they like, they look at my hair a lot. They touch, they touch, they touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Is this your hair? It's there, it's so curly, it's so big, the blue. Please, don't touch my hair. It's, ah. <sighs> See, they weren't that bad, right? Like regular stuff. Like I'm having a great time here. And now I'm gonna tell you all the things I like about being here. Like I said earlier, the food is bomb. The best thing I've eaten since I've been here has been, I don't even know why I said that. Like I know what anything was called, but it was like this rice and pork concoction. And it was, Amazing, like I wanted to swim in it. Like <laughs> that sounded really fat. <laughs> Swimming it likes what? Um, it was really good. I don't know what it was called, but it was amazing. Um, another thing I love about being here are my teammates and my team and my coaches and the staff and the men. Like they're awesome people. Um, so nice. Um, really helping me grow as a player in the short time I've been here. I think I've learned a ton already. Um, and the season just started. We just had our first game yesterday and we won. Um, so great start for us. Yes, yes. Um, but I'm having a great time playing with them and being around them. They're really awesome people. Um, again, my apartment, I love it. It's so cute, it's, it's adorable, it's a mess. I'm sorry, mom. I know you don't like messes, but sorry. Um, Another thing I love, that my job is to play basketball and work out and do nothing else, but enjoy this beautiful country and these beautiful people and have a great time. This is so amazing, you know. It's awesome, like my job is to play basketball. Like what, that's like my dream. Like little baby Lex was always like, I wanna play professional basketball. And everyone was kind of like, okay, like, okay, have fun trying to do that. <laughs> Boom. I'm a professional basketball player. Last and not least, 
the guys here, although I have not interacted with any of them, <laughs> just looked. Loki Banotachi. They're very cute. They're very cute. The, just the European look, like the way they dress, the way they walk. It's just... It's lovely. But again, lucky but no touchy. I'm here to play basketball, not date around. But I should probably find some friends that are regular people so like I can go do fun things. Um, Cause really I just hang out with Rashonda and Ross, you know? Nothing wrong with that. I'm having a great time with those two, but you know, third wheel and ain't fun every day. All the time. <laughs> like, <sighs> my extra single self. I almost said that word. It's okay. I'm single, not ready to mingle. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't message me. Nothing. Don't shoot your shot. Don't do it. I ain't interested. I'm not. <laughs> I promise I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm just tired of it. I don't have time. My time is money. Ignore my broken nail. <clears throat> Tragic. So that is my one month update. Um, you know, I really think that it's my experience here is just gonna get better as time goes on. So I'm really excited. Season's finally started. I think we play like twice or three times a week, um, which means it's a lot of practice. You know, they don't really believe in off days here, which is a little, uh, hurts my soul, actually. We practice twice on Tuesday, twice on Wednesday, Twice on Thursday, twice on Friday, play Saturday. Bruh. Why? Why? Why are we practicing four days in a row? It's all right. It's the life I live, the life I chose, and the life I love i'll be back with another update i don't know when i don't think i'm gonna do one every month unless y'all want me to do one every month then of course whatever you guys want i've been having a great time over here if you guys follow me on instagram snap like you can see that i'm enjoying myself so don't forget to subscribe like comment share post i need more subscribers i need more views like my first couple videos was booming. Then I don't know what happened. Did I get boring? Like what? <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, until next time. Mm -hmm.